I'm nervous. I don't know about those people watching there. Three to go. Malandri up the inside of Valentina Rossi and takes the lead. Marco Malandri takes the lead and sticks it firm, doesn't he? Great overtaking manoeuvre by Marco Malandri. Malandri now leads the way from Valentina Rossi. Nicky Hayden and Danny Petrosa right in contention. Three laps of this magnificent circuit to go. What a race. Hayden's got the sniff of the bone. He's going to go fishing shortly at the moment too and see if he can go with the flow that Melandry set up. Here we go. Over the start and finish straight. Little bit of a gap. Did Rossi let him through? I don't think he did. But as I was saying, Mark, I don't know if Rossi wants to be leading the way going into that last lap. Uh, we wait and see. It's only two and a half laps to go now and Melandry's really trying to pull out just the inkling of a lead at the moment. Probably a one and a half bike lengths at the moment as Rossi's there now. Pedrosa and Hayden scores in Rossi as well. So it be interesting to see with Rossi on a soft front compared to Hayden on a medium front, if that's having any bearing on what's going on as well. As uh, Melandry had a soft front as well and we go to Pedrosa who had the medium. So the Repsol Honda boys on medium fronts and the other two on the soft front. Two laps to go. We ride with the race leader, Marco Melandri, chasing his third Grand Prix victory of the season. He crosses the line. Just over five miles left of this particular race. And Melandri certainly has opened up a bit of a gap. About two. Oh, and Valentino Rossi, Rossi, Rossi hangs on to second place as Nicky Hayden tries to take over second place, but is unable to do so. Nicky Hayden, you said, was going to have a go. He had a go then, and it did not work. And Rossi has certainly closed up on Marco Melandri. Oh. Danny Petrosa and Nicky Hayden almost collide. Danny Petrosa had to sit up at the back of the four-man battle for the front. He tried to shove it through the inside of his teammate, and his teammate just threw the thing on top of the front wheel and said, get out of there, son, that's my line. Look at this. That's how close Nicky Hayden got to oh. Danny Petrosa. That, that and, close, uh, he, oh. he went out of camera shot. Here we go again. <laughs> And he has to sit up Danny Petrosa as he would have hit his teammate at the front. Melandri and Rossi absolutely... Well, you could be separating them by a hair, couldn't you? It is so, so close at the front. One and a half laps to go. Rossi up the inside. This is where he loves to overtake. And he has overtaken Marco Melandri. Valentino Rossi is back in the lead. Up the hill into the start and finish straight for the very last time when they go over the line. One lap to go. Rossi leads, Melandri second. Who is going to win this race between the two Italians? Rossi, Melandri, Hayden and Pedrosa. Now look where Rossi was on the track, right over on the right-hand side, trying to block that line. He might have, might have run it a bit wide, but Melandri got really good drive out of that last corner. He got good corner speed there, but now we're going to see if Hayden can do anything to Melandri. Hayden desperate to get past Marco Melandri and have a go at Valentino Rossi. They're at the bottom end of this difficult right-hander. And they're the left-handers start as they go back up the hill. Second gear left-handers. It won't matter left or right for these men anymore. Half a lap to go. MotoGP at its very, very best. Rossi leads. The crowd want Rossi to win. He may not be German, but they love him in this part of the world. But Marco Melandri is very, very close indeed as they go up the hill through these two blind left-handers. And they're going to plunge round the right. And Melandri is going to be beautifully placed to have a go at Valentino Rossi at the bottom of the hill. He is close enough. They're through the right now. And down the hill they go. Petrosa still in third or fourth place. Nicky Hayden, but now this is where Melandri is going to have a go. Rossi rides very, very defensively. Melandri is only one way through, and that's around the outside. You're not going to get through there, Marco Melandri. Rossi pushes him wide up towards the last corner. What a German Grand Prix. Is Valentino Rossi going to do it? Melandri tries to run around the outside, and Rossi holds the advantage. What a victory for the world champion, Valentino Rossi, here in Germany. Marco Melandri second, Nicky Hayden third, Danny Pedrosa in fourth place. Whoa. We've seen some great performances by the world champion, surely Mark Brax. That was one of the very, very best. One of the best, and I'm just down here with the team. They're going absolutely ballistic. Jump David Brivio's all over Gary Coleman. They're just so excited. They've been hugging. It's a, a return to form for all of them. And look at the gap between the four and the end of 30 laps, 0.307 of a second. Simply stunning. That was a simply stunning race. A simply stunning performance by Valentino Rossi. Write him off at your peril. Laguna Seca, 
prepare for the arrival of the doctor. Nick, I've got David Brivio with me. What a win. Is that one of the best races you've ever seen, Rossi? Yeah, unbelievable. I don't know. I, I don't even know. Every time is the best. And uh, uh, this, this victory is really unbelievable. We suffer a lot in the practice, but uh, when it's race day, it's, uh, it's unbelievable. And Jeremy and all the engineers, they did a great job this weekend. And uh, it wasn't easy at all to start for this race, but Valentino was fantastic, and I think the team was fantastic. Is this, thanks to everybody. Thank you. Valentino Rossi kisses the fairing of his Yamaha. That was